Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'll be talking about the movie Hard to Die, aka Sorority. <laughs> Let me make sure. Sorority House Massacre 3. Um, this is a long, long time I saw this movie. I saw this movie one time on um, HBO, and I think it, I think it was possibly a, yeah, like a sequel to Sorority House Massacre, the first movie. But it was, but the real name for it was Hard to Die. But the movie ended up having like footage from the first movie and trying to talk about the killer from the first movie, how it's not supposed to be connected to this movie, but in reality it shouldn't be. But they try to make this like a sequel, so that's how they want it. Uh, first of all, for you guys out there, if you're looking for TNA and hot checks, yeah, this movie delivers hot checks and TNA, you know, with the shower scene. So you, you're gonna get some piece of action watching this. For like looking at naked chicks. Um, besides that, uh, the the movie to me now after watching it again, it's not meant to be taken seriously. To me, it looked like it's more like a B movie, horror, a little bit of action, comedy spoof of of itself. You know, even though it's like too stupid to me. Like, okay, make it. You know what? It's gonna contain spoilers, so let me just go forward. You got these girls that have to work on the weekends, do inventory for this lingerie company. Um, when the big movie when the movie begins, there's a scene when the woman signed for this package, and as the movie progressed, she realized that the package went to the wrong address. Um, she called this um, person which the package belonged to, and and as the movie progressed again, you realize this package is kind of creepy because it starts smoking up, so something's about to go down, you know. Meanwhile, you got this janitor who works in the building, and he has like a little background story that he had, he was a witness to the killing. Of the um, killer from the first movie, you know, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like a weird, ba it's kind of like a silly background for it for this character guy, but he's supposed to be connected to the first movie in their own way, or how they want to do it, how these producers or writers, whoever wrote this movie, want to do it. As well, like I say, it's really stupid. Like I say again, it's not meant to take seriously this movie, but still, it's just the moment of this movie how it runs. But anyway, to to uh, progress to the story. Uh, the women st start end up to open the box, and this spirit comes out. And of course, it's pretty obvious you can tell it possessed someone, you know, which was pretty obvious. Obviously, who? But it's gonna leave you guessing to somebody else. Um, suddenly, these girls start dying one by one, and once the girls start want to go down to the basement, they see their friends died, and realize that somebody's killing them, and they. Th of course, spoil, spoil, spoil. They're gonna think it's the janitor that did did the killing. So there's also so this that means trying to survive this bill against the janitor, who they think that he's the killer, but they 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 like trying to hide. One of the girls is able to fight him off, you know, stab him, beat him up, you know what I'm saying. Um, meanwhile, you had these two detectives doing an investigation. They found out that about one of the I think yeah, I think they talked about the killer that he was into black magic. And they start saying that he has this spell where he can separate his soul into a box. Whoever opens it, he gets to possess that person, you know. So it's got to believe in spoiler, 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 spoiler. That maybe Orvel catch on the, that he's the one that's possessed by um, Hostagvers, the killer from the first movie, possessed by his spirit, but it's really not him. As the movie progressed, you know, they start being, they start being, meanwhile, let me just say, they start being the janitor, they kill him like numerous of times, they even, for the final scene, they even pushed him into the high storage building, right, and guess what, I have all that shit, that fucking fat killer, he was still fucking alive, but like I said, like I say, he's not the killer, so, take a guess who, who was the killer, it was one of the female friends that was possessed by the evil spirit, and that person was the one doing all the killing. It's kind of like a spoiler because it's going to tell you when when the gentle faced the woman. He said, I don't care what body you possess. So it's pretty obvious who the killer is. So it's going to spoil it for you right there anyway. But that was one of the scenes. But besides that, when, when the two of the first I realized who the killer was, it was the woman she was possessed. And, you know, you get your gun balancing when he's getting shoot, shoot, shot up with bullets. The woman who was possessed can shoot up with bullets and guess what? They still alive. And you get the final battle, final battle when it was the one surviving girl having a shootout scene, you know, blah, 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 blah. Ketchum comes back alive again, saves the girl against the possessed girl, sh shoot up again. And 
guess what? The next day in the morning, the both li both dead except for the girl. She survived the surviving girl, and the two detective comes in. The girl was possessed. She comes back to life. Shot the detective in the arms. Going after the final girl, went down the lobby and Ketchum comes back to save the girl again and shoot her up. And the possessed girl supposed to be dead already. But you know, it's kind of like fucked up because it's like you say to yourself, How the fuck are you still alive? You know, say all that shit you went through. Not only the guy, but the. Because the guy, if you think about it, he wasn't really possessed. He's pretty much, he's like a human being and he's dead. He should have been dead already, but he was alive. I don't know how the fuck he did it, you know? Maybe I'm missing something in this fucking movie. Maybe he practiced black magic too. Who knows? But it was kind of weird, man, to see that shit. <laughs> but but still, I mean, if, you, if you're not going to take this movie serious or nothing, I think it's an enjoyable, um, like I say, horror comedy spoof on itself, in my opinion. So I, check, I say check out Hard to Die, aka Already House Massacre 3. Speaking for me, I read it kind of as a movie by yourself. I read it kind of as Hard to Die. You know, because I, I can't put this next to Sorority House Massacre 3. I mean, sorry, sorry, House Massacre, sorry. That's, that's my opinion. But anyway, peace, guys, and see you later.